YouTube, it is your girl, and I am here with a product review. Okay, so, um, as you guys knew, <laughs> I am a natural hair girl. I still live in my natural hair world, and my hair is... I always say it because it's just always going to be there. I looked at my like old pictures like when I was maybe six or seven and my hair was pretty much bra strap length if I had a bra back then. So yeah, I think I, I've, I've plateaued and it would be a miracle if I was to see waste of hair but... Yeah, below bra strap. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Actually, you guys always see me with my hair like in like, you know, one of these headband thingies. I don't like hair on my face. I, it bugs the heck out of me. So, anywho, that's like another video. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do a product review. This one is for the Blue Rose Beauty in their Cocoa Coffee Rasool Hair Mask. Now, I picked this up from Hattache. You guys know I love shopping there. And I believe what I did when I was, I found this product is... I go to their search and I just type in the word Amla. My hair loves Amla. My hair loves Argan. My hair loves castor oil. You know, and I'll just type that in. And all of the products with Amla in it, Amla mentioned in the ingredients, will show up on Hattache's website. And I can I just pick, oh, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one, and that one. So this one came up. It is their uh, Cocoa Coffee Brazil Hair Mask. And I have been doing more treatments. I'm right in the middle of editing a treatment video and that should be up uh, hopefully within the next week or so. Um, and Amla has been my saving grace. My hair absolutely loves Amla. Um, it makes, it doesn't really, really make the curls pop, but it kind of strengthens my hair. And if you read up things about Amla and Amla oil, it does help with uh, premature graying, um, helps to slow down the graying process. And yeah, it's gr <laughs> for graying. <laughs> graying, hello, I said graying. So it's for that and it does kind of uh, give my hair this nice soft suppleness to it. Not like m over moisturized type of soft supple, but a soft and strengthened type of feeling so I do look for more products when there is Amla. I, have, I do have Amla oil like straight out of the jar <laughs> and like I really am loving Amla but I do like to do treatments that have a lot of great ingredients in it and again Amla is in this one so let's go over the ingredients kind of quickly. First ingredient is water then there's uh, cocoa butter, coffee butter, sweet almond oil infused with lavender Avocado oil, BTMS, Hetero alcohol. Oh God, I hate it when they write. It's so tiny. Australian pink clay, Rasool K, Panthenol. Uh, a fragrance which is fel is it phthalate free? Uh, burdock root, Amla Brahmi, and preservative. Now, as you can see, Amla is down on the list. Down kind of far. So, um. Let's go ahead and review it Whew, okay so here is what the product looks like as far as the consistency you know it's not super thick there it is about to run out of the jar um, the smell it smells really good um, I don't get a whole kick in the face bam it's coffee but you can kind of tell that there is a little bit of coffeeness in it but I I re it really smells like cocoa butter like Palmer's cocoa like the cocoa butter it smells like cocoa butter and cream and a dash of coffee that's it yep that's it it's cocoa buttercream and a a smack of coffee. I can't, and my nose is sensitive, so I can kind of smell the clay in it, but then, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. Now, how does it work on my hair? Now, when I do treatments, my hair, I learned this about my hair. When I do it on a wet hair, 
for me you know after I've shampooed and lightly conditioned and I rinse all that, that goodness out and I apply the stuff to damp hair it kind of my hair takes forever forever I have to make sure that the cuticles are open I have to just go through all of this hoopla when I'm doing my treatments and stuff on wet hair till it's to, it's not worth it for me so I do my treatments on dry hair so if I right now I'm kind of product deprived <laughs> I don't have like a lot of leave-ins and stuff is what I really need right now I don't have like a lot of conditioners and yeah we're gonna we're gonna ignore my product junkie and how I don't have conditioner so it's boo -hoo. I have like a lot of other stuff but um so I've been stretching my wash days I do them every other week now instead of every week and then I've been keeping my hair under units or I just put my hair back in a bun so after my hair has not been touched for two two and a half weeks I do a treatment on my hair and I do it on dry hair old dry hair I just part my hair in four little sections and if my hair is under unit it's already parted in four little sections so I just unravel it and then I put the treatment I put this on my hair and I'll let it sit I will let it sit a good hour or two whenever I'm doing a treatment on my hair I put this you know I turn scandal Grey's Anatomy how to get away with murder I turn my videos uh I, I'm addicted to 19 kids and counting go figure but I'll turn all those those good things on and I'll just have like a marathon of shows and I'm you know I'm twisting my hair or I'm taking it down or I'm partying it and I'll put this stuff on and I'll let it sit and by the time my shows is over it's time for me to get in the shower so I'll let it sit on my hair maybe about two hours or so and I'll rinse it out and my hair depending on how the product is my hair feels Right, to the point where it's like man I don't even want shampoo this, this stuff did this, this is it so with this one um I would have to say I like it it's not a very powerful oomph type of treatment like if my hair was in a frenzy and oh my god I needed to reset my hair or I needed to do you know something like that just oh my god my hair my hair I'm in a panic mode and my hair is shedding and and breaking off and it went from bra strap to ear length in 10 minutes and I got a bald spot no <laughs> um this is a in-between time type of treatment for me I'll use it just in between my hair isn't giving me any type of trouble um, it's not a type of product where uh, if my hair again is just freaking out I don't it's not that type of product for me that's just gonna reset it it is a nice treatment product you know my hair it was it was soft it wasn't amazingly like oh it is so luxurious I, I wasn't getting that herbal essence type of commercial like oh my hair oh no it was a nice little treatment I did wait for it after about two hours I do wait for it to be basically hard in my hair or you know how you know how that original afro g, afro g treatment is how it gets hard I kind of wait till my you know the clay and the, the texture you know gets kind of stiff and then I'll go wash it out <laughs> um Normally when I do that with other products when there's so much clay in it my hair will be stiff and it will be weighed down and I will have my curls elongated and so on and so forth. I didn't have that uh, with this one the the uh, Cocoa Coffee Rasul hair mask it didn't elongate my curls it just it was just a nice pick me up. It's a really nice light pick me up for my hair. It's just a in between time type of treatment and yeah, I just it it didn't do anything harmful to my hair. I did get, you know, my my typical amla kind of softness to it. The coffee kind of coffee butter kind of just revives my hair. I do like use it. I have tried coffee on my hair. Maybe I should do a video. <laughs> um yeah I've tried using straight black coffee I've tried teas I've tried you know all these different types of rinses and uh, hibiscus rinses and things like that and I would have to say the coffee butter in it it was nice the Rasul clay of it all 
it was nice it just it's all around a pretty nice product would I buy it again I don't know I guess I would I think that even with this one jar I've used it three times you know you guys know I love to use things in threes before I do a review so I've used it three times I got a, at least a good more six times on it and again I have a lot of treatments and stuff that I can I can be using um maybe if there was a really good like Black Friday sale I probably would get it again I wouldn't I wouldn't say no I would say yes <laughs> but am I if, is it on my holy grail or staples list not so much I don't know mm, I think I want to have to try some more I'm gonna have to try some more masks and stuff with Amla in it before I can give you my verdict on that but it's nice so it's on my hmm list it's in the back of my mind that if there's a sale hmm I might need to get another one so it is a really nice product um, I've tried other things from the company so look out for those reviews and if I've reviewed them already I can't remember check my <laughs> video history so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later bye